Hello everyone. I hope that you are all having an amazing day today. Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hey, I'm Shayna and I am really excited to have you here. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys what I've created for um, a challenge that's going on right now and it's hosted by my dear friend Priscilla over at Release the Crafton. And that's how you um, spell out her name. But she is released the craft in here on YouTube and on Instagram as well. And she is hosting a really cool file folder challenge. And so basically all the rules of the challenge is to use a standard sized file folder to make whatever you want. Like you can just go crazy, make a journal, make... Um, a three-dimensional project, a fold, just do whatever you want to do with the file folder and um, just use as much of the file folder as possible. The end goal, of course, is to not have anything left over. Um, challenge yourself. Try to use every little sliver, every little piece. There is still time to enter this challenge. It ends on December 5th, so that's this coming uh, Wednesday next Wednesday. So you do have time to create something and if you have not entered and you are interested in trying your hand at this really neat challenge, I will um, I will link her challenge introduction video down below in the description box and you really need to go check that out if you're interested because in order to secure your entry you need to like and comment on that video to let her know that you would like to enter into her challenge. So it ends on December 5th and um, yeah. So I'm just gonna show you what I've done and I ended up having absolutely nothing left. I have no pieces left, I've used them all. And I've just made this, um, of course it's gonna be chunky, I mean it's me, but it's like um, a little booklet folder thingy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to do something different and not use as much paper to cover mine. Um, first of all, I didn't really know what to do, but then I had purchased a lot of um, fabric during Halloween and I had a bunch left over because I didn't really um, get to make a journal this year. So um, I was really inspired by this anatomy um, fabric and also I was inspired by a project that my friend Kim at Serene Bookworks um, did not too long ago. Um, I will link that video down below because it, it's a really cool book that she made for a friend of hers who is I believe taking anatomy and physiology in college and I thought it was so amazing. I was like, I gotta have one of those. <laughs> um, but anyway, so those were my inspirations. And so I've used fabric instead of paper to cover the entirety of the file folder. So I've got, I've made this closure here. It is a piece of um, torn coffee dyed muslin and I've stitched that to this uh, black burlap ribbon, which I've ruffled and grunged up. Whoops, if I can get it undone. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, of course it's gonna happen on video. Okay, there we go. Lots of strings, lots of stuff going on here. Um, so yeah, it's just a simple tie closure and I did attach it to the back and to this front flap here. This is, um, I believe this was a coaster um, that I received from April. So thank you for that, April. And I just cut the white edges from around it, inked it up, and layered it on some coffee dyed uh, cheesecloth here onto the flap. And also I'd like to thank April, Priscilla, and Kim for helping me uh, with my idea with this, I was kind of stumped on how to do the closure and they were a huge help for me. So thank you guys. I just had to mention that, but yeah, so we've got like a little folder booklet here. So this is the front flap and you pull it open. And what I've done is I've used these two different fabrics and for each panel I have, um, alternated <laughs> the fabrics. So as you can see here, and, oh yeah, I forgot to show you, there is um, 
I had to cover up a brad, which you'll see in a minute, but I used a piece of coffee dyed fabric and stamped the finishing date on it. Um, and yeah, it worked great. So it opens like this and then like this. And on the first side, we have a really grungy uh, tea dyed or coffee dyed pocket here. Um, I actually ripped it when I was trying to fray the edges and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to sew it back together because it's um, kind of in keeping with the theme um, being as it's sewed up. So yeah, and then I've just layered some cheesecloth across the top and tucked inside are these couple of tags. Just got a really simple coffee dyed tag here with some... Um, all of these text inserts are from a medical dictionary. I've stamped it, added some coffee dyed scraps, and then we've got this one. And this one is layered with a vintage uh, medical textbook for surgeons. And so I've also used some of those pages. You'll see more in a minute. And I've just layered on a piece of the um, one of the fabrics and some little coffee dyed scraps. Did a little bit of stamping. Added some Tim Holtz uh, clipping stickers, the Halloween ones, and added some muslin and fabric at the top. And then we've got this little thing. So it's one of the, I forget what these are called, but it's like that envelope closure. And it's just, you know, that's where the brad comes in. And so you flip it up, and there's a little booklet here. I've just got this paper clip to hold it closed. Another stamp and Tim Holtz clipping sticker there. We can get some focusing. Come on. Sorry. Here we go. Let's see if I can fix it. There we go. Okay, so it's just a, a little tablet, basically, um, of scrap pieces of paper. And then fabric on the back. And of course, um, this is a piece of the file folder here. Okay, and so that just closes back up. And then the tags. And then I did forget, I did use a different, another type of fabric. So this is part of the folder here, and I've added it in the center as um, sort of a, at first my idea was that it was gonna be like a divider, but then I've added this closure and this is the chunky part of the project. So the divider comes open like this. And of course I've inked around the edges of the file folder with uh, black soot. But I have added this uh, stamped out label. It says from the lab of. And then a little piece of muslin with a uh, skull stamped on to cover up the brad. And then we have it open like so. And then we have another pocket here of the same fabric. Um, lined with cheesecloth at the top and then I've also added this linen little banner thingy. I like these because they already had the little tiny eyelets in them and I thought that was cute so I actually hand stitched it through the the pocket here and then just stamped on it and then in this pocket I believe this is a piece of recollections ephemera if I'm not mistaken this is a really cool postcard that I received from Liesl in some really amazing happy mail. Thank you, Liesl. But it matched perfectly. And then just another altered tag. So this one is actually one that I've, um, I've um, inked up with oxides and regular distress inks. So I've just got another little label here. This is from Liesl as well. And then I also added these like uh, little number stickers because I thought they were pretty neat. And then we have a chunky little booklet here with just a bunch of different coffee dyed papers. Here's another label from Liesl. And of course, I've added a little bit of Timmy in there. And then we've got this here is a little tag that I've made from part of the file folder. I've just layered on coffee dyed pieces of that um, medical dictionary and I've done some stamping. And so that opens up like so. This is a page from that uh, vintage 
surgical textbook, which is really neat because it has all of the, um, it's got writing in it and where they've highlighted and circled uh, different text, and I, I just love that. It's a piece of uh, Recollections Ephemera. I've just sewn it on this page. It's another piece of that textbook, page of the textbook. Here I've got a tuck spot. I fussy cut this from some Halloween scrapbook paper. And just a simple little tag here. This was just randomly floating around my desk. Um, and I really liked the lines on the back, so I've stamped it up. And then this is another one of the oxide and distress ink tags. Same thing, just layering up the text and coffee dyed paper and stamping some cheesecloth at the top. And then I've got another tag here. There's a flip. And this is a coffee dyed inventory tag. And I've just put a little tiny tip in on the tag itself for um, just some secret writing so you can write under there and it not be seen. I love putting the little fabric flips on the tags. I think it's cute. More textbook here. It's pretty plain. This is another piece of file folder that I utilized and made a little tag out of it. On the other side is a flip, another piece of that ephemera, and I've just layered some cheesecloth underneath of it. And that's the booklet. And then here in the back is a third little pocket here. And as you can see, this is the opposite side of this brad here. So I was trying to think of a creative way to cover it up because you could see it through the um, the pocket here. So I've just covered it with a piece of this fabric and I was like, how can I make it look like <laughs> it was intentional, <laughs> you know, like it's useful. So I, what I did was I stringed this little tiny tag and I wrapped it around the brad and glued it in. And so it's just a little tag here and I've just done some stamping on it and the back says note. And so inside of the pocket, another piece of ephemera, which is really cool. And then this is the one of the final pieces of the file folder that was left over. And so it, I've just made a little booklet out of it, covered it with some fabric and some collaging on the front. And then all of the rest of it is covered with scraps that I had from the textbook. So, and then there's also a piece in here. And then just on every other page, I've stamped from the lab of, as if, you know, this is um, a scientist or whatever, biologist, and they're studying. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. And yeah, so that is it. That is my entry for Priscilla's, sorry, release the Craftons file folder challenge. And I just want to say I thought this was so, so fun to do. And I was really inspired with all of these anatomical themes, which is something I just really love learning about anyway. So I had a little bit of fun with it, and I think it turned out really neat with the fabric. Um, I love how the edges are frayed. I did consider um, adding some reinforcement on the uh, creases, but it seems to be holding up really well. So. Yeah, um, that's what I made with my fall folder, and I literally have absolutely no pieces left over, and I was really proud of myself for doing that. So, yes, if you guys are interested, please go give her video a look. As I stated, it will be down below in the description box, and have some fun with it. This was so fun. Thank you so much, Priscilla, for hosting this challenge. If you guys haven't seen, there are some amazing, amazing giveaway prizes. And, um, yeah, give it a go, you guys, even if you don't make it to the deadline. Uh, challenge yourself to try and use every single piece. I think it's a wonderful challenge. And, yeah, so that's it for me today. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day or night, wherever you are in the world. Please do not forget to spread the love, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, I got a boo-boo here. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you next time. Bye!